and welcome Sagittarius Rose Burnett here mind body soul balance this is a special reading messages from your spirit guides for the 21st through to the 27th of August it is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates leave what does not before we get started there is a competition draw you still have time to enter so all you need to be is a new subscriber to my channel this month You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful, precious gems, Oracle, gorgeous deck. Make sure to say hi to me down below if you are new to my channel. And for those that follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You will go into the draw to win the gorgeous Nature's Whispers Oracle. Winners will be announced at the end of the month on my channel. I have recently partnered with Keen to bring you a great offer on live psychic readings with vetted psychics and spiritual advisors. They're available 24-7 online or you can schedule a call to suit you to help provide guidance on any challenges you might be facing right now and to gain insights into love, relationships, career and higher guidance from spirit. You can get your first 10 minute reading for just $1.99 and the price after that just depends on which keen advisor that you choose. To take advantage of this offer you just need to use my special link which is going to pop up here in a second. I'll also put it in the video description box below. The only condition is that you need to be new to Keen, haven't used their services before. There's a very simple sign up process to take advantage of this offer. We're going to walk through it quickly now. To get started, all you need to do is register a new account, decide how you're feeling, what you want to chat about with your psychic advisor, what skills you want them to have. It'll then, then bring up a list of the Keen advisors. Find one that you resonate with. Click that chat button to start a live psychic reading straight away or schedule a call. It's that simple. After that, Keen will send you weekly discounts via email. So it's a very affordable way to get ongoing support and guidance for your path. All right, let's get started with your reading. All right, Sagittarius, we're going to pull you an opening energy from the Enchanted Map Oracle, and let's see what you need to know. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. You've pulled the Magical Map Shifter. So it basically means that when you enter into this world, there's a divine plan playing out, yeah, which is often connected to all of your past lives. So there is a divine plan and then there is also uh, on the steps of your path, you're always in control of your own life, yeah. So even though whilst this divine plan is going on to bring certain people, situations, learnings into your life, you always have a choice as to the decisions you make, the actions you take, yeah? So Spirit's just letting you know there's a divine plan unfolding in your life right now. All right, let's put you some guidance from the uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. Wow. You pulled the web weaver. All about synchronicity. All about connection to the universe. Uh... So it very much means whatever effort you take, the universe is going to respond in kind when you put your intentions out there, the right people, situations, resources, opportunities coming towards you at this time. You do have to set your intentions though. How do we do that? By the actions we take, uh, where we put our time, our energy. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Angel Tarot. you got the night of earth and spirit saying it's time to buckle down on your commitments put the hard work into what you want to create so the guardian angel watching over you at this time oh that's flying out uh, you got the night of water uh, which is very much represents falling in love can be Proposals coming in, particularly for engagements, uh, in more invitations to social events. So for some of you, a deepening of commitment in a relationship can represent a brand new passionate love coming in. All right, let's see what else you need to know. I know that this energy came through in your mid-month as well, Sag. Oh, you got the two of fire. The ability to partner up with others, new business opportunities coming your way, collaborations. Uh, certainly around your career. And 
And you've got the chariot, Archangel Metatron, black and white horse to me, which always represents light and dark sides of self, taking action, being recognized for your hard work, achievements coming in, possibly public recognition. And you've got the king of fire. It's very much about focusing on what it is that you want, communicating your vision, stepping into more of a leadership role in your life, taking charge. All right, let's put some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle, which is a beautiful deck up for grabs at this time. Oh, some of you are having a major breakthrough, which is going to create brand new beginnings in your life, a lot of transformation going on, directly related to your life purpose, your path. And you've also pulled assurance. If I bring it really close, right, there's lots of angelic beings in this tree. So your angels, your spirit guides watching over you, divine protection happening at this time, bringing you the right opportunities, situations to you. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, Energy Oracle. We've got three here. Well, Spirit's saying just to have patience at this time, particularly those of you putting in quite a bit of an effort, yeah, it will pay off. You've also got the Magician in the Mirror. So Spirit's saying you've got the resources that you need right now to create the life you want to create, even if it's just your internal resources, yeah. And again, synchronicity happening, serendipity. In terms of opportunities, resources coming to you that you need to help you on your path. And you've got the door to value opening. So this partnership opportunity coming in, this ability to collaborate with others is going to open the door to money for you. And very much to trust yourself, trust your intuition versus seeking answers outside of self at this time. Take the opportunities that feel right for you. And definitely a focus on your root chakra, your basic sense of security, stability at this time. So a strong message coming through, Sage, that you need to co-create with the universe, take action as well. All right, let's pull some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Oh, you've got Sedna Infinite Supply. It's divine protection. Your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows. So Spirit's saying stop worrying, just have patience with the timing of it coming in. Wow, again, you got the message to focus and act, yeah? Um, a lot about putting the effort in and being very focused on where you, would, where you want to put your time, your energy. Mm, you got Lakshmi, bright future, stop worrying. Spirit's saying everything's going to be fine. The opportunities, the money's going to come in. And you've got to assure of blossoming abundance. You're just getting started. Have patience. Do not give up. You're on the right path. And you've got May Eve cycles and rhythms. So watch your energy levels, your emotions. Take time out when you need to. Don't overthink things. Spirit saying, do not worry about money at all, right? It's about getting shifting into a very positive abundance mindset. Let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. This is flipping out. You got solacite peace. There will be a renewal of peace in your world. Yeah, Spirit's saying just stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Divine protection over you at this time. Mm, you got Stibnite conflict. There's some inner conflict going on. Dare I say possibly just overthinking things. You've got Red Jasper Healthy Boundaries here. So it's very much about focusing what's important to you um, versus trying to help other people at this time. It's very much about you doing you. Mm -hmm. If there's conflict with others, you may need to put some healthy boundaries in place. You've also got Clear Quartz Purification. So a detox needed, I would suggest mostly around your emotions, your mindset at this time. And for some of you, there's some emotional healing going on. I'm just going to pull you one more there. Okay, so you've got Labus Azuli past life stuff coming up. 
some of you are recycling through things possibly fear-based stuff around money that you just need to release from yourself it can be something that you've carried with you for quite some time it's about cutting the cords and attachments to that releasing yourself for others there may be something going on in your life where there's you know situations where there's a bit of emotional healing that needs to happen all right let's put you some guidance from the messenger oracle um, to tap into those energies make sure to watch the mid-month reading yeah at this time wow another message to focus in the neck that's your third message the big horse behind it which represents your personal power your empowerment yeah and surrender to the flow so don't fight things don't fight yourself particularly mentally dare i say uh choose opportunities that feel right for you yeah that align with your passions what you want to do all right let's have a look at your chakra balance which we've certainly got your emotions and your energies coming out in terms of your physical body oh you got journaling here would be really good for you just to get clarity perhaps a little bit of emotional release oh here it is your sacral chakra which is your emotions so there's certainly some clearing that needs to happen there more balance around your emotions and you've also got creativity so this represents your inner child whenever i do energy healing the inner child shows itself to me in the sacral chakra yeah so doing creative things would be really good to help you get out of your mind into your body to relax all right let's put you some messages from spirit in terms of who you're connected to in the spirit realm at this time divine gifts and talents oh your ancient soul tribes are coming in so if you're connecting with spirit guides from ancient soul tribes, it'd be quite strong for you at this time. Which means those that are connected to you, to your soul light from past lives. And you've got goddess Isis from ancient Egypt. So if you feel the connection to ancient Egypt, confirmation of that, she's the goddess of healing. and some of you are an earth angel so protector of mother earth mother nature it's quite important to you you probably have a deep connection to mother earth mother nature so nate getting outside in nature would probably light you up a lot all right let's put you some guidance from the blue angel oracle what is it sagittarius needs to know at this time Oh, you've pulled Sonata, all about mastery. Uh, you know, his heart chakra is very lit up. He's got beautiful light coming down from the universe to his crown chakra. Uh, he's in a very meditative pose. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Sagittarius. Sonata, the evolved name of Jesus, signifies he who has ascended into a higher dimension of awareness. Through this oracle, Sonata invites you to ascend with him into the heart of love. In doing so, you can rise above the obstacles and challenges you face. And though the physical world will never be free of obstacles, from a higher perspective, you will see they are not the solid, inflexible structures you initially imagine. You think that you exist in this physical world, but in reality, it is the physical world that exists through you. For you are, in essence, light, and you have the power to transcend physical reality and raise your awareness by connecting with the eternal light and love inside you. Through light all is come and through light all is transformed and healed. Close your eyes and imagine yourself as a body of light. Imagine all around you as pure light. Let each thought float away as you drift into the inner peace of your soul. To view life from your soul's perspective is true mastery. Oh, beautiful message there. There's an affirmation here. It says, The physical world is built from particles of light. It is spirit clothed in matter, a reflection of my immortal soul. So very much connecting to your soul light, remembering who you are, you know, your true nature. Mm -hmm. You can always come back to a place of inner peace and harmony. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below, how it resonated with you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel if you enjoyed this. Make sure to connect with me on Instagram. I do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. And if you feel like you need extra support and guidance at this time, make sure to take advantage of that 
offer from our sponsor Keen on live psychic readings. You get your first 10 minutes for just $1.99. Make sure to use my link. It's going to pop up here. I'll also put it in the very first line of the description box below. All right, take it easy for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.